So I'm recording. If you don't want your face on the screen, it does not have to be. I'm not going to be um, hurt if you shut your video off. Um, but I am going to record in case people can't make it into this session and they want to be able to watch it later. So if you're in the right place, you're in the I'm terrified session. And I decided to, nope, I'm in the wrong presentation. I've been up all night terrified now, making all the mistakes. Is this the right one? <laughs> There's so many little windows open in front of me. There we go. Okay, we're in the right one. Now I'm going to hit present. Still looks the same to you until I do this. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. So I decided to do this particular one first to kind of get the butterflies out of the way. Um, I am going to guess that a lot of us are terrified about what's coming and what we need to be able to do. I would be more worried if you weren't terrified. If all of you were like, yeah, this is so easy. I'm not worried about anything. I totally got this. Then I'd be super nervous. So knowing that you're in here, knowing that you feel similar to me, let me figure out how do I get those people in here. Hang on. Hold on, cute people. Participants admit okay um would make me more worried if you were not worried about what you were doing but i feel like everything that we want to be able to accomplish is either going to happen or not whether we're afraid or not and so i thought that this would be a good place for us to start i also wanted to use this as a time to kind of give you an overview of the format that i'm going to use because there is comfort in routine but first we're going to start with a video and this is my first time playing a video through zoom so again i'm taking a risk i'm trying to let you in the room and watch the videos here we go please work it's just there's all this pressure you know can you hear it and sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and i can just feel it like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless and i don't know if it's going to stop i mean that's the thing that scares me the most is that i don't know if it's ever going to stop yeah well, you do have a nail in your head it is not about the nail. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I'll bet if we got that out of there. Stop it, trying to fix it. No, I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just, now that maybe the nail is causing. You always do this. You always try to fix things. What I really need is for you to just listen. Was, see, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail. See, out. you're not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. Fine. It's just, sometimes it's like, there's this achy, I don't know what it is. And I'm not sleeping very well at all. And all my sweaters are snagged. I mean, all of them. Yeah, I, that sounds really hard. It is. Thank you. Ow! Come on, Ow. if you would just don't. <laughs> Try to see things my way. Hey. Do I have to keep on talking till I can go? I love that video. It's one that I've shown in PD for years, but for me this year, it has a different meaning because I can't tell you not to worry. There's nothing worse as being someone who has anxiety and for people to tell me, oh, don't worry about it because that doesn't take the worry away. I will be trying in all of these sessions to follow the same format. And one of those things I'll be doing is including a video. I'll be showing you ways during the YouTube class on how to find videos that are short and more compelling and move quicker and are more engaging so that if you use them in your classes, then your students won't snooze on you. Um, so that's part of the reason that I'm including videos, but I also want to be able to give you those examples that are out there that maybe aren't related directly to education and sometimes it's nice to be able to draw those parallels. Whew. Um, but there is comfort in routine. So you'll know when you come into these classes, they're all the same link. So you don't have to register, you don't have to sign up, you just show up and I will let you in the room as the little ding ding happens. And I'll be going through things in the same order. I'll be at this point in most of these courses, I'll be giving you whatever the instruction is for that particular tool 
idea or concept. And for today, I'm just letting you know that we will have this predictable routine. You'll have your welcome screen when you get in, you'll have the video, then you'll have the instruction, you hit admit. Um, and then in the next part, we'll have a list of resources. They'll always be found in the same place. So when you went in and you saw, if I hit escape here and I go to the schedule, when you're in the matrix of all of the courses and you click on one, for instance, if I click on today's, which is I'm terrified tech therapy session, and it brings me to that particular slide, every slide is going to be consistent. It'll have the title, the time, the date, the direct link to it, whatever the description is. Later, when I post the recording, it will be here if you want to go back and watch it. But then also it will have this collaborative document. So if it works the way that I want it to, it will have the ability for all of us to be able to type in it. I'm not looking to be the, the center of all knowledge. So I'm hoping that I'll start most of these documents with resources, with links, with articles, with tools but we will also share what we've learned together or what questions we have. It will all go here inside this collaborative document. So it's something that you can revisit in the future. Let me go back into my slide presentation. So the link to it will always be here in our daily, whatever, our daily class. So that will be consistent. And then if I hit present again. Whew my anxiety is going down. The worst is over, I hope. <laughs> um, then we'll do a lively Q&A because I know a lot of questions are out there and hopefully between all of us we can come up with some answers. I'm already feeling the pressure of doing this all by myself, not having someone to let people in the room or to manage the chat. If you've put anything in the chat, I haven't even looked at it yet. So if you have no sound or no picture <laughs> or no clue what I'm talking about. Right now, I don't know that because I haven't looked at it. So I'll be looking for volunteers to hopefully kind of capture what the questions are and what the answers are in that collaborative Google document. So every day, I'll, that's what I'll be asking for. I'm not going to ask for it now because this is new to all of us and this is kind of like our, our dipping toes into what's going on. And then you'll always have open playtime. I am hoping to be able to end all of the courses by 10 minutes of the hour so that you have time to run to the restroom before another course. I don't want to run from, you know, 59 minutes to one minute past the hour because that doesn't give us any breathing room or time to look away from the screen. But I will stay in the room if anyone needs to ask questions during that 10 minute time frame. So hopefully what I'll be able to do is do the instruction and the Q&A and give you about 20 minutes of time to dip your toe in and play. None of these courses will give you enough time in that hour to learn everything about that topic. I wish that that were true, but it's going to be enough to give you the resources you need, the guidance that you need to get started on that particular topic, and also the opportunity ask questions that will clarify your own understanding. I'm still letting people in. There we go. Um, so that's kind of the layout of how we'll be doing everything. That same format for every class. These slideshows will look the same for every class and hopefully that predictability will help. I'm looking, where did I put the chat? <laughs> Ooh, I need like six screens is what I'm realizing. Um, today I decided to do all of these courses here sitting at my desk where if I cry, nobody will see me. I did not want to start trying to do this in person at the same time until I had at least practiced first online remotely. But starting tomorrow, I'm going to plant my butt at a different school. The actual PD schedule tells you when you look at it go to the top slide. It tells you at the top where I'm going to be. So tomorrow my plan is to be at KCC. I believe it'll be the library, but you might have to be flexible if I have to go somewhere else. I'm not sure um, exactly that's where I'll be, but I'll find out then. So the idea is that no matter what building you're in, if you want to go and attend in person, socially distanced, and learn in person, 
or you want to log into the Zoom meeting, you have that choice. It will still be recorded so that you can refer to it later. Um, but I'm hoping to be able to model as best I can what it is that you're going to have to try and do. And uh, like I said in my video yesterday, I've never done this before. I have no idea how it's going to work. I'm getting tons of questions like, how should I have my room set up? And how should I do this? I've never done it before. And that's why we're doing this. This is why you have these 10 days to be able to learn new skills, practice old skills, use old skills in new ways, and to be able to figure out the logistics. I've always said it comes down to the logistics. That's, that's really what gets in the way of being able to use technology. And I still can't find the chat to be able to ask, <laughs> to be able to see what questions are coming in here. Um, oh, goodness, Susie. When I'm a participant, it's a lot easier to find. Let me see if I stop sharing my screen. Who? yeah, there's the chat. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I hope you're all feeling better. Uh, oh, you're introducing yourselves, which I asked you to do. I think that's awesome. Oh, look at you all being so good. That's awesome. Hi, 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 good, good. Because what's really cool about the job that I have is that I get to know all of you. I get to be in all of the buildings. I get to experience all the different grade levels. I get to think about when we're trying to figure out how all of this is going to work. What is it going to look like in kindergarten? What is it going to look like in 11th grade? What is it going to look like when we're trying to graduate kids? What is it going to look like during, you know, testing blocks? What is it going to look like in sixth grade? What is it going to look like? And so being able to have you interact with each other, I think is important. You'll see some of the classes that we have. I will break you up into groups, but later on we will share as a district because I think that hearing something from a lower grade level might do at an upper grade level. There's still people coming in. <laughs> um, and vice versa. Teachers are creative and they're able to hear ideas and think about them and say, oh, wait a minute, I could do it this way with my students this year. So that's why you're finding some of these classes are universal for all grade levels and then why sometimes I'm splitting all of you up like the next three hours of today. I also did some switching of times. So keep your eye on that matrix because I'm trying to look at what the district schedule is and when you guys have to meet at the end of the day to report out and I'm trying not to overlap any of that. Ooh, so the schedule that I'm sharing is, um, I sent it out in email and that went out, I wanna say, I'll send it out again once I get off of these Zooms and I'll send it out again so that you have the matrix. But I also sent out today's list of classes and the link to get here. So I'll do that every morning to let you know what four classes are being listed for that day, just in case you're having them all mixed up in your head like me. Um, trying to log into Modern Teacher, you can send send me an email on those types of things and I'll be able to help troubleshoot. Whew. I'm starting to come down off of my craziness. What I wanted to do today, and we don't have a lot of time because I only blocked out 30 minutes, is that I know that I have many things that get in my way of what's going to be challenging this year. One of them is my anxiety, which is written all over me today. You can tell how in my face it is. I know my anxiety is also something that helps fuel what I do. Like it's a source of energy. I'm, I'm like off the wall right now. But I also know that my shyness and my reticence to ask questions, I know that there are some of my personality traits that I'm going to have to overcome in order to be successful this school year because it's asking for a different skill set than me. And I'm not going to have you type those things into the chat, but before I ask you what you're afraid of, because I know that's what you thought I was going to ask you, if you want to tell me what you're afraid of, which I would love to know, before you do that, you have to tell me three positive traits about yourself before you can tell me what you're afraid of. So if it were me getting ready to type into the chat, I would say my three best traits are patience, creativity and my sense of humor. And I think those three things are also going to be beneficial during this coming year. But I can also say my biggest fear is that I'm not going to have enough skills to be able to support everybody. So if I were you and I were typing in this chat 
that's what I would write. I would write patient, creative, funny as all heck, and I'm afraid that I won't meet everybody's needs. So you are allowed to tell me what you're afraid of, but only if you balance it with something else that has your three positive traits. But I'd love for you, if you feel comfortable doing so, to go ahead and type it into the chat. And like I said, if you want to keep your video on, you can. If you want to shut it off, you can. I am recording all of these to share with staff that don't get to come into these sessions. I'll try and remind myself to say that to you every session. So I won't be heard if all I see is just your name on the screen. It's entirely up to you what you're comfortable with. Whew. So I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and think of three positive traits about yourself and something that you're terrified of when it comes to this year. But I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths and give you some think time. And some of you are sending them to me privately. That's totally okay, too whatever you feel comfortable doing. I know that sharing our fears with each other is probably going to make a lot of us feel a whole lot better. But if that's not something you're ready to do, that's okay. I'm loving your positive traits. I am loving your positive traits. You guys are awesome. I don't even know how many of you are here right now. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> oh, 51. There we go. reading your positive traits, I can't help but think you got this. Like if you have those as strengths, the rest is going to fall into place. I hope you watched my video yesterday. We're not expected to know how to do this yet. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time. Hopefully patience is something that is a trait that you have, but even if you don't, it's still going to take time. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, these are awesome. You people are awesome. I hope you're reading them as they're going through. I think that it's, it's neat to hear. It's very easy to get caught up in what's scary. But if you think about what it is that makes you strong and what makes you unique, what strengths you have. I think that, that that frame of reference, that lens will help you to look at things a little bit more positively and hopefully. I've had read a lot of your comments on the Google Docs, so I have all of those. Um, I know that a lot of people are concerned about how this is going to work. Like I said, the logistics and that's why we have a lot of time. I'm, I've talked to a lot of people in other districts about how their 10 days are coming to be. Um, my daughter teaches in New Bedford. She's a third grade teacher, her second year teaching, and her technology training was today for three hours, and they've been um, just, mm, it, it hasn't been ideal. So she's walking away not feeling like she's been able to learn anything. She certainly hasn't had time to practice anything because they filled up their whole schedule with meetings. So the fact that you have all of this time every day to work on planning, to work on um, creating 
landing pages and being able to create all of the different things that you'll need to support your students is a huge gift. And I'm hoping that you'll also take the time to practice with each other, like get together with your team and one of you be the teacher and two of you be the remote learners and two of you be the in class learners and try it out. See what it feels like switch roles. Don't be afraid to laugh about it because it is going to be hysterical at times. Um, I'm dying to know how it's all going to go. I believe that we're all creative professionals and we're going to figure it out but it's gonna be tricky to be able to do that. So hopefully as you see me stumble through this process over the next two weeks, it will at least make you feel human and know that even though I'm trained to do this, it's still not gonna be easy. So with that, I'm hoping that I'll be able to support you the best that I can. I am dying to go back through and read all of your positive traits. Um, I have to figure out how to be able to save the chat so I can read it all later. Whew. Um, but you can tell that I've calmed down. <laughs> so the worst I'm hoping is over and I'm hoping at this point anything that I do now I'm going to be a better online teacher and a better remote teacher and a better hybrid teacher and a better bunch of people in front of me and a bunch of online teacher by the end of next week and hopefully you'll start to, to feel that transition yourselves and don't expect to feel it yet. And if you do, please give me all the answers because I would love to know what they are. It is 1055. I will usually try and start at 10 or 50 of at 10 of the hour so that you have time if you want to be in the next session. The next session coming up is a brainstorming session for KCC. So those of you at KCC, if you'd like to join us, I know that you have spent an entire summer with your head trying to wrap around ideas. You've probably read stuff and seen stuff and built stuff, tried stuff. I want to share what you've done. So that's what we'll be doing for each school today. It'll be KCC, then the high school, then Quashnet, because the high school meeting, I had a conflict. So I switched it around for you. But wow. <laughs> Um, so I thank you for jumping in and I'm hoping that this works out for all of you. I'm hoping that this is helpful and uh, I will see some of you in about five minutes. Like I said, I'll be sitting here. So feel free to leave or to say hi or to ask questions, whatever works. We're going to see how this goes. Whew. So we're in the five minutes of no man's land. I'm trying to read the chat, let people in. So Susie. Yeah, go ahead. Is this the time we can talk? Sure, go ahead. Okay, great. So I have like, you know, I didn't really, I am really technology, as you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. And my understanding is um, everybody has to have a landing page. School psychs, counselors, nurses, blah, blah, blah. So that's really what I'm specifically like. I, I don't know how to do an avatar. I don't know how to do a link on that. I don't know how to pull up images. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So that's the, the kind of guidance that specific guidance I'm really looking for. Okay. So, so the class that will help with that the most, there's a couple of them. I would definitely take the Google slides for design class. Slides for design? Yep. I would take a Bitmoji class just in case you want to use a Bitmoji. You don't have to. It's not a requirement, but it will go over some of the same skills again and then build on them. Yeah. And then there's also later in the week, there'll be a landing page class as well. Because by then, most people will have used the modern teacher stuff and might have something that they have a question about. So I'm here with that. But okay. the, modern, the modern teacher stuff also has things in it. There's like videos to watch and there's um, what do you call them? Templates to use. Oh, okay. So I should, so what I need to do for homework is go in and do that modern teacher overview, those three things that, um, um, hope went over, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then that will give me like a, some background information. And then I can pop into your little, um, tutorials yep. and get some more assistance. Exactly. Yep. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Um, I would have been at that uh, brainstorming for the high school, but I have another Zoom that I have to attend. That's all right. It'll be recorded and then you can always watch it back. Okay, great. Thank you. Nice to see everybody across the district. Good luck. Bye.
Colleen Strohschein, yes, um, two o'clock. It'll be a full hour, but that doesn't mean you have to stay for the full hour. And I didn't realize you guys wrapped up at, oh, you have your school wrap up at 2.30. So it'll be a 2.30 thing. Like you said, I'm trying to figure out how to fit my stuff into, that. so I, I might adjust it, but we'll figure it out. Right now it's scheduled for two. All right, let me let people in. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me stop recording. Susie, can I ask about the landing page?